All right, this is the second part, and I'm gonna divide this up into three, but uh, this is the second part of section 24 from Caesar's De Bella Gallico, book five, where Caesar is setting up all of his soldiers in winter quarters that are a little further dispersed uh, than he would like, uh, than is customary because of the, the, uh, uh, the dryness and the lack of grain. So if he had tried to concentrate all the soldiers in one place, he couldn't feed all of them. And so uh, we've gone through most of them, and we're going to, Caesar's going to mention one last one, and he's saving this one for last for the important reason Then this is where all of the action takes place over the next about 20 or so sections. So one legion, which he had conscripted most recently, Proxime, across the Patus River, and that's a, a river in northern Italy, the Po River, and five cohorts, he, and we get Miset here as the main verb, so he sent among the Eberones, and then we get two relative clauses here describing this area, part of which, or really the, the maxima pars of which, right, the greatest part of which is between the Mosa and the, and the Rhine river, rivers, um, which were under the control, under the imperium of Ambiorix and Catavolcus. So he sent one legion, which he had conscripted most recently across the Patus, and five cohorts among the Eberones, greatest part of which is between the Mosa and the Rhine, which is under the power of Ambiorix and Catavolcus. Uh, and to these soldiers, Quintus Titurius Sabinus and Lucius Arunculeus Cotta, the legates, he ordered uh, to be in charge. So he, he ordered Sabinus and Cotta, the legates, to be in charge of these soldiers. And so really quickly looking at the map, we're talking about, about this area. All right, so in Eberones, between the, the, the Musa or the, the, the Musa River and the Rhenus River, or the Mosa River rather, and the Rhenus, he put Sabinus and Cotta in charge. And notice that he talks about how the legion uh, was very recently conscripted down here um, just across the Po but then also fortified by some experienced cohorts there. So with the legions distributed literally to this manner, but essentially in this manner, very easily the lack of grain he thought he could uh, mitigate or he thought he could he could remedy or cure. So, so with the legions distributed in this way, he esteemed, he thought that he was able to cure the Enopia fermentaria. And so this is the dative with this normally intransitive verb. So he thought he could cure the lack of grain, the need of grain, the scarcity of grain very easily. And, however, of all of these uh, legions, the winter quarters, the winter quarters, however, of all of these legions, except one, which to Lucius Roscius in a very pacified and very calm part, he had given to be led. So he... Um, he uh, except except one legion, which he had given to Lucius Roscius to be led into a very pacified and calm part. Um, these winter quarters were contained by or limited by about literally one hundred thousands of paces. So we know this. Melia possum idiom is a mile, 100 Roman miles. And so uh, going back here, and, uh, and however, the winter quarters of all of these were limited, uh, were contained by just about 100 miles. And when you're looking at the map, you can see this. So 
here's Roscius down here, but all of these legions here are within about 100, 100 miles of each other.